have legendary Sonny, who is a Nigerian born, a Nigerian born award winning songwriter and a sensational R&B soul artist, a graduate of the University of Port Harcourt, who hails from Ebem Oafia in Abia State. The Port Harcourt bred kick started his career officially in 2012 with a speeching cover of John Legend's All of Me that garnered lots of buzz across the country, which systematically placed him on the spotlight as a young and rising talent from the South. In 2014, he emerged the first winner of Coke Studio West Africa Music Contest, sharing a platform with the likes of Pato Rankin, Techno, Cele Bobo. In that same year, he took part in the talent contest Dare to Dream, owned by the Italian fashion franchise Kinabuti. And he emerged, the, I hope I got that right, and emerged the winner of both season one and two and a host of other musical contests within the country. This achievement drew the attention of top companies. Um, Legendary Sonny is regarded as one of the most successful acts to emerge from the South. Now, just with his vocal uniqueness, not just with his vocal uniqueness and ability to win hearts on every platform, yes, I can tell you that for a fact, he comes across, but also his outstanding fashion sense, even me, the copy him, and style, which has earned him the classic man, Nigerian Jidena, that tags and series of styling from top fashion brands. He has over time proven himself as um, resilient and focused, regardless of the challenges as a self-sponsored brand. And ladies and gentlemen, um, I think there's the part where, you know, if you have your speakers next to you, start playing, I'm a classic man. As we welcome man like legendary Sunny in the building. What's going on, my brother? Fine. I yeah. like your ginger, man. Yeah, oh, man, that's the vibe. That's the vibe. <laughs> yeah, absolutely vibe. That was mouthful. Um, I like a lot of the things that you could get even from your bio that you mm. obviously have a winning spirit and you're not here to play games and all of that. <laughs> Thank um, you. I wanted to know, uh, first question is, who are you? Now, we've heard the bio and we've heard the, you know, curated, nice answer, but for somebody who is looking at you for the first time, obviously they can see this swag, but who are you? Okay, um... Like you said, my name is Legendary Sunny. Mm. Um, I'm from the East, an Igbo boy, and um, I love good music. Mm. So I'm here to pass a legacy through music to people, change lives positively through music. Mm. You know, I believe so much in my sound. Mm. Yeah, and um, it's something I don't want to go off. I want it to be here forever. Nice. So I want to be one of those persons who would make this move towards keeping it here forever. All right. Okay. Um, you already have this look that would keep people glued to the screen, but can we keep them watching even when the show is over <laughs> by serenading us with your, you know, oh, wow. suit and voice? Let's just <laughs> listen to a little bit of what you can do. Son, I will love you until the end. Oh, and I know who will great to let you go. Oh, baby, so now you. They make me the dance killer, and I fit your peabody for you, yeah. Guy, oh, I can do better. Baby, <laughs> girl, you're my muse. Nice. Okay. Girl, you're my muse. <laughs> wow, 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 Say that wow. I will love you. I will <laughs> drop <laughs> blow <laughs> for you. <laughs> anyway, that's amazing. So you see why we say keep watching the show because you never know what to expect. But let's talk about your music. I see um, your style is completely different. And these days, a lot of people don't listen to soul. They don't listen to the R&B. They like the, what do you call it? Imbati, Imbati music. <laughs> yeah, she calls it the Imbati, Imbati music. And, um, but you have something different. And uh, how do you think that um, this is actually going to help you grow in terms of growth so of course you'll be getting private gigs and all that but yeah. do you want to go mainstream or do you just like your space well regardless of every other thing i'm also a nigerian mm. i have to be able to give nigeria what they want what they want mm. but this is my music mm. and we have different aspects of life oh. same thing with genres of music so we can't just have one genre of music mm. so we mm. have to be able to please every sector oh. and this is my this is my office Mm. Yes. You own so it. basically, Your you space. are capable of giving us the batik batik when it's necessary. Definitely. Okay. Mm. Can you give us the rap as well when it's necessary. Definitely. Okay. And the reggae when it's necessary. Ah, come on, <laughs> I'm on the spot. <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're not a jack of all trades like that. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about your sense of style because yeah, that's something else you have going and working for you. Of course, yeah. I'm sure a lot of people must have told you. So, do you style yourself, or do you have someone who works behind the scene to make sure that the legendary Sonny stays legendary? Mm -hmm. I work with a lot of designers, but yes, I style myself. I've mm -hmm. always had this flair for the dramatic. I wanted to. I've always wanted to um, appear very presentable. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, 
I like to be dressed the way I am dressed, mm. and I wouldn't want to walk into any place and people be like, "You look good." You mm. know, I want to be like, I want to, I want to, I want to get the wow effect. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, yes. your sound though, I could hear a few, like especially with the there's this thing that your voice does. I don't want to explain it because I don't. The have falsetto. It. I guess that's what you call it. But you know, there's a few people in the industry that I know that have that as well. Obviously, different sounds, but oh, okay. that's the whole thing. But I don't want to mention anybody's name. From your own perspective, is there anybody in the industry that you're like, oh, I like what you're doing, or oh, I like what you're doing, or I can see myself, you know, um, following that type of trail, or you know, the type of music that he's giving out or she's giving out? Yeah. Um, big shout out to Cobhams. Okay. He's somebody yeah. I look up to a whole lot. Mm. And I, I listen to his sound a whole lot. He nice. inspires me in different ways. Oh, wow. And uh, my personal friend, Rick Hassani. Okay, um, I see Rick I listen to Rick well. a lot. And also, I have um, Bez. Bez. Mm. You mentioned him over There's one more person I'm, I'm thinking I mentioned, but I don't know. Uh, yes, and Johnny Terry Yeah. Timmy was on my mind when you first sang. Because Timmy gives me that vibe as well of sure. like, he has that thing where you, as soon as he starts singing, you hear the emotion and the lyrics at the same time. Yeah. Usually artists can't really do that. A lot of the times they're either so engrossed with the emotion and you forget what he's actually saying, you're just feeling some, some type of way or you hear the words and you're True. not really feeling the emotion. True. But what you just did right now, I felt that as well. Like I could hear your, you know, the romance in there, the flirting in there, but also every single word that you were trying to say, mm. like your, li your lyrics mm. was clear and I find it really intelligent. Mm. But do you think the world, or oh, let's say Nigeria to even start with, is embracing that, that, that um, piece of artwork that you have in you? Like what's, it, what's the feedback been like? 100%. Nice. 100%. I think back then it wasn't so nice, it wasn't so good, but right now it's 100% because mm. music is evolving even in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I think people are getting tired of... Bati, bati. <laughs> yeah, oh I think God. people are getting tired. And so the, you, could, you could see the shift in paradigm. You could see mm. them changing concepts. Mm. It's getting calmer. Mm. Because we actually need a lot of... Um, there's too much wahala. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes in traffic, you just want to, you know... I, no, bati, bati. Don't now, just, I can listen to yeah. I can listen to the radio. Mm. And out of 10 songs played on air, 7 is calm songs. Mm. Okay, so what are some of your musical influences? Say again. So, some of your musical influences. Apart from Kobams, you yeah. already mentioned Kobams. Okay, um, internationally, sh should I locally. Go international? Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah um, God rest his soul, Michael Jackson. Nice. It's my number one. Is that for fashion or for music Both. now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Both. Good question. It's mm -hmm. a strong influence of my brand, mm. and um, John Legend. Mm. My someone I love his craft. You better also. because I mean you did all of makeup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, for creativity, I'm John Bellion. Mm. Like how creative yeah. he can get. That's a classic. Yes, and um, I listen to these people, and I'm like, these are human beings. Mm. They sit they down at home, and then they create this thing, and it's just magic. Mm. I feel I can be like their branch office here in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about the audience? What does your geography of audience look like? Are they more female, more male, more older women, more younger women? Well, according to my algorithm on Instagram, yeah. it's always 80% women and 20% <laughs> <20 laughs> men. <laughs> men. <laughs> So obviously. obviously you have to, when you're branding, you have to keep that in mind. Definitely. Because then you know that's your target audience. Definitely. So would you see yourself, because you've mentioned, I'm vexing on this table, Loki, because you've mentioned all the names in this world, I even mentioned one female. So I'm that going to put look. myself in here <laughs> now and say, what woman would you want to work with? If you said, okay, give us something with a woman. And locally, I want to work into a savage. I mm. just knew it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a vocal dexterity is yes. actually mm. amazing. Though. Yeah. I want to work with Tewa. I also want to work with Yemi Aladi. Nice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and um, internationally, of course, Beyonce. Okay. <laughs> All right, even though even though we, the viewer Queenie. is watching and they're definitely not going to change that down, hoping you come back, but we definitely have to let you go. But before we let you go, we would um, like you to fill us in on what to expect from mm. Legendary Sunny, you know, in the coming maybe weeks, maybe years, whatever, just fill okay, us in. Um, so I have a um, couple of events coming up. Mm. Um, this weekend wow. okay yes um i have a pageant coming up is that an okay. official invitation yeah it's an official invitation oh, okay yes. you've heard it on tv yes um um humanitarian queen oh. and um so you're gonna performing be, there. yes i'll be performing and mm. also i'm working on my debut so i can't album. tell i don't know if you're going to be there to model because you also have that vibe <laughs> or if do you model as well though uh yeah for very exclusive brands not on the wrong way 
you have the bragging rights. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but thank you so much for drinking tea with us. It's thank been amazing you. having you on this table. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Remember, you can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, of course, at Plus TV Africa. Thank <laughs> you.